Kyle is going through safety checks before a lesson to become a bus driver. She's one of the first to go through GMB Travel's training school, having previously worked for the company as a cleaner. It's a great opportunity. It is scary to start with, you know what I mean? You have your, your width, your length and all that to, to think and, and things like that, but it's, it's daunting at first, but you get there. And the cost for Kyle to go through her training has been covered by the company. They've started funding places because they're finding it hard to employ qualified drivers. They normally run 28 buses, but they've had to reduce that recently by 17% just to keep up with demands for their services. And at the moment, they've got vacancies for 25 drivers. Many have left to join the HGV industry, but the company can't compete with the higher wages they're offering. The government certainly pushed that they wrote a letter to everyone who had a class one licence. Um, and ask them, you know, your country needs you, come back and drive a lorry, get food on the shelves and things. So it's posing a significant challenge for the business and we simply can't continue to run the level of service, even at the reduced levels we're running at the minute, without getting new, new bodies into the business. It's just not, not viable anymore. Larger firms are also struggling to fill vacancies. Reese is one of First Bus's newest recruits. I loved the three weeks training. Um, I just remember at one point I was we're driving over the Erskine Bridge and the sun was setting and I was like, wow, I actually get paid to do this job. And that's when it really set home for me that this is a job I want to do. The company is down 300 staff on pre-COVID levels. We're in a very competitive job market where we're having to compete against other sectors which we historically haven't had to do in the past. So you've seen the expansion of home delivery, um, warehouse operatives and the large salaries that are now available to people to drive lorries in the um, HGV sector, all these are having a massive impact and, and not to mention we're now seeing the impacts of Brexit. Transport Scotland says the financial support it gives operators needs to remain fit for purpose and it'll continue to review the funding needed to support services. But a lot needs to change to get things back to pre-COVID levels and for companies like JMB Travel to survive. Susan Rapult, STV News, Glasgow.